Hello, my dear viewers, you are most welcome to our presentation here and to our channel at large. Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, tap the notification button so that you are notified whenever I upload a video. Like and share. Tonight is another video about the math tricks and shortcuts. So, in this presentation, I'm going to break down this uh, mathematical problem as you will solve the value of x or we solve for x. Please endeavor to watch up the end so that you can understand better. Now, let's dive in. We are going to employ two methods here. So, we can have method one. So, the expression we have is 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power x equals to 1. From this step, I can see this is the same as that. So, I can let maybe m equals to the 8 raised to power x. Say so that I'm going to have our m plus m equals to 1. When I simplify this, I'm going to have that 2m equaling to 1. can make our m the subject. So I'm going to have 2m, which is equal to 1. So I'm going to divide it through by 2. Divide it through by 2. So I'm having m equals to a half. So this is the value. You can now come back and say that. But m equals to 8 raised to power x. Implying that our 8 raised to power x equals to a half. On the right hand side, a half is the same as, the same as having 2 raised to power negative 1 from the rules of indices. If you've not yet uh, watched that video, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So please tap on it and watch. So from here, this 8 can be split in terms of 2 as the base. So it means that we are going to have 2 raised to power 3, but the whole of it power x equals to uh, 2 power negative 1. Still from the rules of indices, you watch the video, this on the left hand side, the sum as having 2 raised to power 3x being equal to the 2 power negative 1. At this step, we can see that the bases are the same on both sides of the equal sign. That means we are going to compare the powers. So this implies that we are going to have our 3x being equal to the negative 1. We've just picked the powers here. So to get the value of x, Simply, we are going to divide it through by 3 on both sides of the equal sign. So, divide by 3, divide by 3. On the left hand side, we remain as x equaling to negative a third. Therefore, our value of x is negative a third. That's for method 1. We can now opt in for method 2. Method 2. So, we are going to deal with it directly. We add those ones directly. So, as we are having 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power x being equal to 1, uh, this is the same as having the two. See, they are the same. They are two, but each one of them is 8 raised to power x equal to our 1. So we can make 8 power x the subject. From here, we are going to divide it through by 2 on both sides of the equal signs. So divide by 2, divide by 2. From here, we are going to remain with 8 raised to power x on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we are going to have half. From here, in terms of 2, 8 is the same as 2 raised to power 3, but you have another power which is x equaling to a half is the same as having 2 raised to power negative 1. This is the same as having the 2 raised to power 3x because this one gets a multiplication of the powers equaling to the 2 raised to power negative 1. So in here we compare. It means that we are going to have our 3x being equal to the negative 1. So to make x the subject, we are going to divide it through by 3 on both sides of the equal signs. This implies that our x equals to negative 1 out of 3. So this is our answer. Uh, we can try to go ahead and prove. We prove this. So we are proving. We want to show uh, that uh, it is really that. So let's prove. So if we're having x as the negative 1 out of 3 or negative 1 third, is it true that? So you're saying is 8 raised to power negative 1 out of 3? Because it's what we have. We have x we have 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power x being equal to 1. It implies that we are having our 8 raised to power negative 1 out of 3 plus 8 raised to power negative 1 out of 3. And we are saying is is this one the same as 1? So let's break down this 8 in terms of 2. So 8 is the same as 2 raised to power 3. But you have another negative 1. 1 out of 3 as power plus the 2 raised to power 3 into the negative 1 out of 3 as the power equaling to 1. So is, is it equal to 1? This is the same as having 2 to power 3 multiplied by negative 1 out of 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by negative 1 out of 3 equals to 1. Is So you can see that, that the 3 cancels. So you're having 2 raised to power 
negative 1 plus 2 raised to the power negative 1. So is it equal to 1? It's true equation. So this is the same as having a half plus a half. And you're still asking, is it equal to 1? So is a half plus a half a 1? Yes. So is it equal to 1? So it is a yes. Implying that our value of x, which is negative 1 out of 3, or negative 1 third, is correct. Thanks for watching. See you again. Good.